Hello everyone, welcome back to Chaotic Box Games. We are going to be playing a Bavarian tale. With this game, we are traveling back in time to not only harass a new set of characters, but to solve a murder as we are going to be playing a detective. That is all I know, so I feel like that is all you need to know. <laughs> so with that being said, let's get started. Schmidt, please travel to what is the name again? Nieder Wolpershofen right away. I have no idea where exactly that is. Somewhere in the middle of nowhere, I guess. Transport and accommodation have been arranged for you already. You will stay in at the pub, which is near the church somewhere. In these villages, in the end, everything is close to the church. Find the church and you will find the rest as well. Anyway, Mr. Griesbacher, the mayor there, is informed. Your task in the village is merely to complete your colleagues' reports. So to be clear, you collect information on the living conditions, wishes and complaints of the village people. Meaning you basically walk around, asking people about their living situation, write it down and report it. I would advise you not to show your face in the city before you found out every detail about the people in that place. And I don't want to hear a single complaint, Schmidt. Signed, Holler. Not a single complaint, that's ridiculous. That's, that's a high ask. For me, quite honestly. Okay, well, we received information, I guess. Oh, we have a compass. I have never needed to know what direction I was heading in, but sure. I have an assignment to complete the physics report for... Oh no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna add a blanket... A blanket apology now for every single name that we're going to run into. Um... And I think that will be good for the rest of the, the series. Um, okay. Uh, Walpert Sch uh, Schofen. Walpert Schofen. There's no way I can go back to Munich empty handed. Sounds good. Oh my god, a man. Wayside. A boy stands by the side of the road and looks around. I don't know. I could leave. <laughs> Good day, young man. My name is Valiant Smith. The boy looks up to you. Information missing. Okay, so there's something missing here. Tell me, what are you doing alone out here in the forest? We're not in the forest anymore. I, uh, I collect schwammel. Yes, schwammel. You're probably not from around here. I pick mushrooms. No, I'm not from around here. Are you here. new here? I can't remember if I was supposed to be like, I'm... Oh, I think I was supposed to say that I'm not new. Wasn't that like part of? No, nine, no. Ah, I see. Say, don't you have to be at home? Home? Oh, it's no better there. I'd rather stay outside. Here, you can always discover things that you can't explain. Just now, for example, I saw a bird pull out a worm from the ground at Sebastian's farm. And do you know what I thought? I mean, no, I don't know what you thought. I was wondering why it has now hit this particular worm. Who decides that? Oh my god. Um. I, uh, the worm was just stupid and paid with his life. I wonder if I will ever get a good answer to that. Somehow, okay, sorry. I am also afraid of it. But right now, I'm not looking for an answer. Now I'm looking for tasty mushrooms, like the ones my mother used to make. Would you also like to collect some mushrooms for me? 
There are people here who say that they have secret powers. The mushrooms, not the people. I think ten mushrooms are a good start. No, I don't have time for that right now. Maybe later. Oh, and listen. If you see my father, please don't tell him that I'm here. I don't want to get slept again. Okay. I'm out of here. I'm sorry that your father hits you, but I wish I did not talk to you about those mushrooms. I... Okay. Lantern. I... Okay, great. <laughs> I could build a lantern there if I had a lantern. Hello, tis I. Guard. Fair enough. Sorry, I tried to ignore you. That's my bad. At the point where the path leads over a bridge into the village, two men are standing by a fire basket. Good afternoon! Who could that be, for Christ's sake? Do you think that's him? <laughs> I don't think so. No robber looks like that. How do you know all of a sudden? Have you ever seen him before, that guy Pascolini? Does he come to your place to play cards or what? Better once too careful than once too reckless. Nah, I prefer dice to cards. I always have my dice with me. Stop it with your stupid dice. You're always nagging me about it. Do you want to get on his nerves too? I would always roll the dice with anyone. Would you like to play a round? I don't want to fucking play dice. Ah, don't be shy. Come on, let's play a round. In principle, it's quite simple. You just have to roll a higher value than the difficulty. But just go ahead and try it. I will explain everything else in the game. There you go! But if you have a lower score, you can compensate. Just use the appropriate skill. If you run out of skill points, then you have, well, lost. Oh. A nat 20! I don't think I'm in here, though. Enough of this nonsense. We are on duty here. What do you want here anyway? Um, my name is Schmidt, and I was sent by the ministry in the city to make a report here. So get the fuck out of my way. No, we can't do that now. Oh my god. No one gets in or out of here. Not even you. This is an order from Mayor Griesbacher. But... Are hearing problems common in the city? We can't let you in. Come back another time. There's nothing we can do about it now. Gentlemen, I assure you, I am not a robber. Uh, Bertel, he says he's not a robber at all. You be quiet now. What kind of normal person creeps around in the forest like that? We don't know anything about him. He just comes strolling along. Neither of us know him, and that's why he won't get in. And we don't play dice anymore either. Should I just, should I be smart? Should I be a joker or should I intimidate them? But now I wonder if I'm even safe out here if these robbers are really so dangerous. What would your mayor say if something happened to me? Such a schman. Don't yeah. get on my nerves. Maybe it'll, maybe the little boy knows another way to the village. I'm about to like pick some damn mushrooms, aren't I? I mean, like, I'll show you the way to the village if you give me some mushrooms. Hello, boy. You boy, the guards at the bridge won't let me into the village. How did you get past the guards? with a very strong diversionary maneuver, and then sneak past. Oh yes, the Pascolinis. That gang puts brown stains in the pants of some in this town. You know what I mean. 
I also remember that I recently found a piece of paper with Pascolini on it. It's still here somewhere. I'm sure there's some information on it that we can use. I'm sure. But I'm not sure where it is anymore. Please take a look around. But look very carefully. Do you understand? Very carefully. The last time I saw it, I was standing over there by the barrel. That's all I remember. Stand over there. Maybe you'll be lucky and find it. If you find it, please bring it to me. As a small thank you, I will give you free pretzels. They're delicious and will certainly help with the search. should be here somewhere. Pay attention to colors and noises. Colors and noises. Can you hear Can that? You that it must be here. There was something. That's not a wanted poster. But mushrooms are always great. We are on the wrong way. Can't concentrate, eat the pretzel. How do I eat a pretzel? I found some mushrooms. There's another mushroom. Okay. Oh, my God, so far. oh, iron wire, never mind. What is that? We have to focus. We're not focused at all. Actually, I would say that um, I'm quite the opposite right now. What was I doing? Pay attention to colors and noises. That's not a wanted poster, but mushrooms are always great. How do I stop doing this? He said it was by the thing, did he not? Pay attention to colors and noises. We are on the wrong way. There was... That's not a wanted poster, but mushrooms are always great. I'm so good at finding mushrooms. Pay attention to colors and noises. There was something. Oh, unbelievable. Okay, I think I figured out how to fist fight. Here's a wanted poster with a picture of the wanted man. Does he look anything like me? The robber, Joanne Pascaloni, and his gang are wanted. The wanted, ran the wanted man is accused of several crimes, including cattle theft, embezzlement, burglary, and trickery. He escaped imprisonment, imprisoned, he escaped imprisonment and is on the run. The wanted man is of tall stature, thin, and with a high forehead. That's one way to say he's got a big-ass forehead. High forehead. 
Hi, forehead. Boy. <laughs> Hello, boy. Use this information. V interesting, the poster describes very precisely what Pascaloni looks like. Perfect. I have an idea right away. Are you gonna dress up like him? I could pretend to the guards that the Pascolinis want to ambush them. Then they'll probably run away and you can sneak into the village without being seen. But you'll have to bring me a few things. Like mushrooms. That sounds as that sounds excellent. What do you need? I think I can manage with a few sticks. Four sticks would be good. <laughs> I'm surrounded by trees, but where can I find sticks? That's not so easy. I need nice sticks. They have to withstand something. Not windy twigs. I'm sure you will find some good wood at the mill. Of course, you have to be careful that the guards don't catch you. Yeah. There's a way in over there. I also have a key for the gate. The miller must have left it in the door, so I took it. Down by the water, a path leads along where many bushes grow with beautiful blossoms. It's a great place to hide. There are guys wandering around everywhere. One of them is a real tough dog. He'll knock you back into town with one fell swoop. I'm curious to see how you'll do. Or if. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, he gave me the key, right? So. Use the boy's key. Wrong lock. Let me out. Let me out. Why am I fighting anyone? Oh my god. Wait, that happened so fast. Wait. No, 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 no. Wait, that happened too fast. Wait, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> that I needed. Whew. Okay. I, I that was really funny. Okay. This is where I should, okay, you mean like right here.
What is this? What is this? I love how the game's like, listen, we need you to learn how to use, like, all this stuff, but we also understand that you don't really want to be running around looking for sticks. And I appreciate that. I really do. Wait, am I done? Did I get everything that I needed? Mushroom or I found the four sticks. Yes, great. Then we can tinker. I'll show you how I would do it. I have drawn a plan for you. You'd better put it in your pocket right away. First, I'll explain it to you, and then you can look at it. Okay. Let me know when you have understood the plan. In the meantime, I'm nibbling my schwammerl. Any information on this boy? I mean, I guess it's fair. Oh, I have a skill point that I can use that I'm not going to. Wonderful. Plan. What you need now is a workplace. I'm sure the barrel behind me will do. Why don't you try to make a doll there? Sure. Give me the doll when it's ready. Should I make a lantern instead? Connect sticks to form a body. Crap. Experimental mushroom skewer. How about a lantern? <laughs> nope. Um, sure. Dude. Hello, boy. I made the doll. 
Lord in heavens, I almost thought that you had slain a Pascolini while tinkering and dragged him along. We wait until the sun goes down, then we start. In the meantime, I'll clean some mushrooms. <laughs> I could have been gathering mushrooms during this time. Clearly they're very important. The time has come. Pay attention. I will explain our plan again. When the two guards get really scared, I come out of the bushes with the doll. Our secret word is Mama. <laughs> when I hear that, I come out. It's sure to get those trousers off those two brainiacs, I tell you. This kid's gonna get murdered. Uh, what do you actually want? Where do you have to go? Uh, what do you actually want? If you go to the end of the woman. Where do you have to go? Ah, Mrs. Gschwendner, not G. Schwendner. It's quite simple. You walk through the village on the main road, and you will see the inn straight away. There are a few beer benches in front of it, and the lights are always on. It's just an inn. But be careful, there are also guards running around everywhere in the village. I'm not gonna be careful. You're welcome. We should be on our way now. It was nice to meet you. Well, let's go. And... Please don't tell my father or the guards that you saw me. Otherwise, the Pascolinis are the least of my problems. I can tell you that. Okay, see ya. I already forgot the plan. I saw. Oh. At the at the point where the path leads over a bridge into the village, two men are standing by a fire basket. Good day, gentlemen. Unimpressed, the men remain standing and do not move to the side. Um. For heaven's sakes, I'm just walking along and suddenly a bunch of robbers appear in front of me. It must be those Pascolinis. You have to flee immediately. Bertel, did you say Pascolini? Did I hear that right? I think he's trying to mess with us. How dare you? The robbers are back there, I'm sure oh, of stop it. Stop talking bullshit. If you want to confront and stop the wa Oh, shit. I couldn't even read that shit because I saw the timer at the top. Gun 15. Maybe he's right. There are only two of us, Ernst. Who knows how many Pascolinis oh, there are? Oh, I didn't realize that wasn't a what timer. What if they really do have weapons? <laughs> aye, aye, aye. It was just tell me how I was doing my, in my conversation. That's really awkward. That's really embarrassing. Um, I'm so scared. I want to go home to my mom. Hey, you! You got yourself into real trouble here. If you're lucky enough, the devil will get you before we do. <laughs> that won't help him either. Every single time I see a bar like that, I immediately think timer and I panic. <laughs> Maybe someone else understands me. I'm sorry, I just need to. Now you can roll the barrel to the side. And I'm gone. Take him out. <laughs> oh my god, what is happening? Why can't I move forward over? Because there's a body there. I'm stealing. Wait, I'm sorry, I need to steal. Oh, for 
fuck's sake. Oh my god, I'm fighting again. Why is this- why is this the fight music? Oh my god, why am I stuck behind a lantern? It's okay, I'm an excellent fighter. Go find your friend. He's passed out and he got a little drunk. It's not my fault. I have nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it. Sir. <laughs> I'll beat you up too if you don't fucking move. I don't need a doctor. Is that the church? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Come and get it! <laughs> oh, why am I? Oh, it's because I didn't like put my hands up. I'm gonna have to put all my skills to fighting. And that's just gonna have to be okay. Everyone under these conditions. If there's a lantern here, use the lantern. Okay. Uh, put your fist down. Deal the bow. I guess I can't. Pick up the stick. That's supposed to be the end. This one right here? Just then? No? Just then? That looks like the end. That looks like an end. Dude, I had the worst day. You're not sure whether you can still call the sound snoring or whether it's more like a soft mill that's being presented here. In any case, the man is fast asleep. Okay, well. Excuse me, excuse me, I need a, I need a room. Entrance door to the inn. The place is very quiet between the forest and the river. Every deep breath, every crunch of pebbles under the soles of the shoes seem unnaturally loud. 
A house, candles burning inside, that's the inn. Someone must still be awake. A voice is heard in the inn. A man is speaking. Mm -hmm. Kathy, thanks yeah. for the coffee, otherwise yeah. I would have fallen asleep again. That's it, yeah. sleeping under a tree with a murderer yeah. running around. In the yeah. end, I would have been killed yeah. even in my sleep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna use yeah. my gut feeling. Cautiously, I'm going to cautiously peek, cautiously peek inside the house. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. The attempt to unobtrusively catch a glimpse through the window over the flower box fails. A puzzled pair of eyes sparkles behind the pane. Did someone have to look through the window now, of all times? The woman then raises her eyebrows and puts her fingers to her mouth. She points downwards towards the floor. A moment later, the door of the inn flies open with a bang. A man steps out and looks around. He's wearing a bandage around his upper arm, just like the guards at the river. Be... Wildekite. Oh no, <laughs> this is German. Vernschusen, Gaz, still von Halten. My best attempt for you. Oh no. The man looks neither to the left nor to the right. He hurries away at a brisk pace. Then the flower pot that was supposed to serve as a hiding place topples over. In his haste, it probably did not stand well on the ground. The man stops instantly and turns around. The man's eyes search the darkness, then suddenly the woman in the inn calls out. Yes, now the tray has slipped out of my hands. It has been a long evening. I think I better go to bed. The man shakes his head, turns away, and disappears into the night. As soon as he is out of sight, the woman comes over. You are Mr. Tap. You are Mr. Townsman, right? The mayor told us you would be visiting. However, do tell me, how did you get in here? Ah, uh, that's right. I'm Valentin Smith. I assume you are Miss Geshwindener. Miss Geshwindener. And actually, it wasn't all that easy. Now come in before anyone else sees you. The boy certainly won't be happy about that. She takes you by the arm, pulls you into the parlor, and locks the doors again. You're probably wondering what's going on here. It's not normal, not even here, but for two days, everyone's been running around like headless chickens, and it's dangerous in the forest at night anyway, you know. But, but my, how do you look? A little worn out. The landlady lets her gaze wander from crown to sole. Oh, I'm talking too much. You must be Ted tired. Come on, I'll show you to your room. It's just up the stairs, second door on the left. You should talk to the mayor first thing in the morning. I'll show you on your card. The door to the room closes, peace at last. The bed is hard, but that doesn't make up for it today. Mm. Well, there you go. The mayor's house is now marked on my map. The night was restless and short. Outside the inn, the sun shines down unflinchingly on this strange place. Like a mist, a tense atmosphere lies over the village. Do you think the murder, like, murder someone in the town every night, kind of like a town of Salem deal? That'd be kind of a mood. I'd kind of love that. I hope we wake up every morning and someone new is dead. I really hope that. <gasps> and then like the mayor gets three votes as to who they're going to hang next. Ah, oh, amazing. Okay, we finally made it through the, um, the intro. <laughs> Congratulations, you know how to play the game now. Okay, they kicked us out. Who's dead? Who's dead? Who's dead? <laughs> oh, I need a pretzel.
I have three skill points. Should I use them? Cucumber. Um. Well, obviously, we're gonna need some physique because we are fighting everyone. One there. I feel like I'll never need empathy. Just because I don't play with empathy. Um, <laughs> so maybe we won't worry about that. Uh, I would love to open up necessary locked doors and steal from people. If you want to drive a hard line, a high value will help you to balance ne negative reactions. Um, I think maybe that'll be good for us. Okay. Gut feeling, honestly. Oh shit, I should have looked at this. Oh, I love making whimsical statements. What were we doing? Okay, it's okay, we can get this back. We need to make some whimsical statements. Okay, we still need to fight. That's still necessary for us. Um. Where is this other one going again? Oh, I want the steal. Oh, I still kind of want to steal. Do I want to steal more? Or do I want to, like, push people? Okay, I feel like stealing will come up sooner than um, pushing people. So we're going to do that. Okay, we need to go talk to the mayor. Get out of here. Wait, I have a map. Where's my map? I'm... Where am I? Where's the like you are here? There you go. Is this the end? No, that's a church symbol. Where's the end? We're here. We need to get here. So we're gonna just do that. That's not bad. Do we wanna talk to anyone before we go? I mean, I kind of want to talk to people, but I also kind of really want to talk to the mayor. Let's talk to one lady. Kathy, let's talk to... Ah, yeah, Kelly. Yeah, this is where I can. We can't talk to them. Scorch. Doesn't have a name. Okay, we'll talk to this man. A gambling... Ugh, I don't want to play dice. No thanks. Oh, shit. I meant to say no. I don't know what this means. Should we take a, like, a gamble? I guess it meant, I actually don't want to play. Fuck this random man. In front of you is a thin man, obviously Peter, the waiter from the inn. Good afternoon. He looks friendly. Wow, awesome. Thanks, Peter. That was really insightful. Whoops. On the terrace in front of the inn, you meet a slightly drunk young man. <laughs> Good afternoon. Howdy. Do I know you? Not yet. May I introduce myself? My name is Valentin Schmidt. Servus, Valentin. I'm the Schorsch. Nice to meet you, Schorsch. <laughs> okay. I have no information. So therefore, I cannot talk to you. Thank you, Schwarsch. Okay, so, um, as you have, I'm sure as you have noticed, there are times where, um, things are in German. Is there a path block? Or are we not supposed to be going that way? What the hell? Okay.
As I'm sure you've noticed, there are times where things are in German. This game is made by a German studio, and actually, let me find out the name for you really quick. This game is made by Acti Active Fungus Studios, which is a German studio, and the game was originally made in German. And the English version of this game, which we are playing, um, because I don't know German, it is currently on beta right now, so, you know, we're not running into too many problems, but, you know, there will, I think there will be times where <laughs> we'll run into parts that are in German, or, um, maybe even times where we'll see some English lines that, uh, maybe aren't necessarily in the correct grammar, or, uh, sound a little weird, <laughs> but we're not gonna let that bring us down, um, I still think this is gonna be a really interesting game. <laughs> you know, we'll still continue on with all of that, just as we'll still continue on despite the fact that my German is really bad. So, you know, it's a give and take situation uh, here today. So that's kind of where we're at. Uh, Miss Gesh Windener is serving the guests on the terrace. Good day, Miss Misses. What can um, I do for you, Mr. Townsman? Good morning. How do I find the mayor? Just head east, through the small passage between the two courtyards. I also marked it for you on your map. Uh, thank you very much. I better get going right away. What can I do for you, Mr. Townsman? Okay, well... Oh, I was supposed to go the other way. I'm like, I can't get anywhere in this town. No. At the mayor's house. In front of the mayor's house, you meet a stocky man with a round butt, with a round belly. Are you the mayor? You are the gentleman from the city, right? Uh, well, come along. I am the mayor here in town. You are truly sent from heaven. Terrible things are happening here. And at such an inopportune time, just when the village policeman Rup is away, he usually takes care of such things, you know. Now, of all times, things are going haywire here. Everyone is in a tizzy. Such an atrocity in our beautiful village. Mr. Mr. Grushbacher is visibly out of breath. I don't think I've ever seen anyone sweat like that before. Well, uh, well, it's easy for you to say. Uh, in the city, such things may be commonplace. It happens there every now and then. But here, with us, in Wolpertshofen, there has never been such a thing. How should one deal with something like that? Everyone is still shocked, I can tell you. A catastrophe that will go down in the village chronicles. Mr. Geschenbacher is trembling with excitement. What exactly happened? You want to know what exactly happened? Well, I, I do not know at all where to start. Everything, yes, everything seems to happen at once. Yesterday, late in the evening, it seems like it almost happened again. Bertel and Ernst, the two almost faced the maker. Good that the two are such brave and smart guys. Uh, otherwise, it would have been over with them. I'm telling you, evil is out there, creeping around the houses, hatching sinister plans and terrorizing the people here in town. I'm assuming those are the two people that we terrorized. Sheer, sheer fear is written all over the mayor's face. Uh, that sounds very serious. Good thing I don't have anything to do with it. What are you talking about? Uh, of course, everyone here is scared. There's a murderer loose in Wolpertshofen. Just yesterday, we found poor Lenz. Dead, beaten to death, haunted by evil. Oh my, oh my. What shall I do? Ah, the mayor. You have come to an inopportune moment. Schirmeyer is coming to pick up the body of his son. Let's go outside. 
if you have something to discuss. Uh, no, no, don't, don't let us disturb you. We'll be right back. Mr. Schmidt, you can see what's going on here. Um, Lance is dead, the murderer is at large, the policeman is not here, and the teacher is threatening to start a revolution. The teacher? What is happening? Of course, Mr. Schmidt, of course. Of all things, there was an argument on Holy Sunday at Katy's Inn. People like to meet there after the service. You're also staying there, if I'm not mistaken. As I said, we are a decent village here, with righteous people. But young Leubel is always stirring up trouble with his crazy ideas. Any means will do for him. Now, in any case, our dear Pastor Bayerle and young Leubel were quite at each other's throats. It has become a bit personal, I must say. Actually, Rupp would have then intervened. He's like uh, the village policeman here. And now we need him for once, and he's not here. He's always stood by the priest. Not at all because they have so much to do with each other, but rather they are both men of decency. I'd put my hand in the fire for those two. And young Leubel just wouldn't give up. Then Lenz interfered as well. That's all that was needed. Schorsch didn't want to let it stand like that. Schorsch is actually a nice guy. He also likes to sit at the pub uh, last night too, yes. Uh, anyway, it got physical. That's how they are. They always act so intellectual, but in the end, they talk with their fists. It wasn't a fight or anything like that. Don't get the wrong idea. They just had a bit of a tussle, uh, but it really wasn't that bad. That was all over in a moment. The more sensible people then went home. That was enough. Others stayed and wanted to continue to drink more beer. Lens too. And the next morning, Lance is lying dead over there in the puddle. And there's a lot of screaming. Loebel is running around, accusing people. He won't calm down. You have to help me. Otherwise, the whole situation will get out of control. <laughs> Very well, Mr. Grishenbacher. I will take care of the matter. One hand washes the other. It's going to cost you. All right, all right. Fifty pennies will be enough for that, won't it? Good, good. I will take care of it. Good, quite good. That's how we do it. Jesus that will take some convincing, like, do but you'll do it. Just please don't dawdle around. This must be clarified immediately. Is there any more information that could help me in my conversations with Mr. Lobel? Empathy is not good. You don't have to tell him that I sent you. I don't think he'd like that. He's not big on authority. Uh, just say you're here for your reports. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll check on things at my home. You talk to Leubel and ask the people in the village. We have to find this murderer. Oh. I take that back. I'm gonna use my skill points because it doesn't make any sense just having it sit there. So who are you? 
Es grüßt auch eure die Gold for Support. First I beat Lens to Dash and sends a shit their pants. Sets just like them. Conservative assholes. Sets exactly what it is. But you really don't look like your strong support. We will not be stopped. We will not be intimidated by these reactionary buggers. Exactly. That's how it is. What does LaSalle say? History is a struggle with misery. And we will take this struggle upon us. Let me give you some advice. Don't get in our way. This can end badly. You better watch out. Okay. You know, I also like to stand on an elevated platform and just yell shit at people. Like an asshole. My favorite pastime. <laughs> Hello, sir. I, I would like to get closer and have a conversation. Is that a gun? Can I steal this? Nope. Um, I'd like to talk to... There's like a man, actually. The man with the rolled up sleeves will probably be Severin Miller. Miller. Are you Mr. Moeller? Yeah, you've come to the right place. But do you need something? I can't help you right now. We have to finish our consultation first. You know what's going on here. We have to defend ourselves. Until peace has returned here and we are safe again, I'm afraid I can't do any work. Come back then. The man with the rolled up sleeves will, oh. Okay, back to the beginning. See ya. Wait, where's your, did he leave because I didn't talk to him right away? Whoops, wrong button. Sir, sir, you can't just walk away from me like this. There's a young man standing outside the school. He seems tense. Are you the teacher, Lobel? That's me. What do you want from me? Whose side are you on? Are you with this murderous traditionalist pack around our mayor? I don't know if he cares much for tradition. I don't know this place or its people. I'm not on anybody's side. That's spot on. You don't know your way around here, so just stay out of it. We'll sort it out among ourselves. Well, be it as it may, what was your name again? And what do you want in Wolpertshofen? My name is Schmidt. I have come to complete some physics reports, so I have been sent on purely observational business. Neutral and focused on the essentials. I appreciate that. Yes, that's right. You were announced. My name is Leubel, Corbinian Leubel. I'm the teacher here in town. However, it might be a bit difficult with your report right now. You have chosen a most inopportune time. It will really be the best if you devote yourself to the good old Schlossbergbräu from Kati until this matter is settled. Last night, an innocent citizen was beaten to death right beneath our eyes and our fine mayor once again shines through his incompetence did he send you no not the mayor i'm here on another assignment i'm here because of physics reports in a neutral position then that could be an advantage the mayor and these buffoons were suddenly playing militia for him. Arch-conservative scum. Apart from the fact that he is not allowed to do that at all. If I am not mistaken, only the Ministry of the Interior has the authority to do so. The same Ministry of the Interior that is supposed to have sent you. Do you know about this ridiculous militia? Did you authorize it yourself in the end? I 
Alright, what? I feel like this man just wants to be agreed with. <laughs> I don't know. Uh -huh. You don't seem to have much of an overview. I don't know. Poor Lenz. Lenz Glass, the son of the old Schormeyer. They found him dead in the street. Lenz is... was... not weak. He would have known how to defend himself. Someone must have hit him from behind. And everyone keeps their mouths shut, but not us. As LaSalle said, this is the power of speaking out what is. This is the most powerful political means. No one dares to say who the murderer is, but after what happened last night, none of those hangers-on can tell me nothing. Now we have to act. And I'm telling you this for the last time. Do not interfere. Go to the pub and get drunk. We'll soon have this settled and then you can do your work. I think he's being ridiculous. Mr. Lobe, uh, Lobel. Mr. Lobel, you're not sorting anything out here as a government commissioner. I will settle the matter and you will keep your feet still for now. Tweet, 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 tweet. This is important. Oh no. Are you trying to intimidate oh me, Mr. Schmidt? Ridiculous. <laughs> Go make yourself important Not somewhere drunk. else. You're an odd fella. You're an odd fella. I don't feel like I can trust you. <laughs> I don't feel like anyone Investigate likes me. by all means. But if you don't have results soon, we will take matters into our own hands. If I were you, I would first talk to our fine mayor before he pisses himself. Go ahead and tell him that we won't be fooled. Dear Lear, wish and your spot. Can you tell me what happened the night before the murder? Was there an argument? Oh yes, there was an argument. A real fight with our fine mayor and his ass kisses. Kind of funny. I have only told what injustice prevails everywhere. Because as La Salle said, it is and always will be the most revolutionary act to say out loud what is. But they are unresponsive to reasonable arguments. They were just looking for a fight. Ever since we lost the unspeakable war against Prussia, everyone has been looking for an escape code. And that's what us supposed to be right now. 1800s, 1886, 1866 is when this game was set. So is that the uh, Potato King? Did they lose to the Potato King? Who are we? Well, those here in town who think outside the box. Anything that smells of progress is immediately sent packing in this town. Damn Higgs. Yeah, I was about a hundred years off with that. It's not the Potato King. <laughs> This is the Seven Weeks War instead. Um, according to the internet. My bad. Um, and what exactly does that have to do with the war against Prussia? What kind of question is that? Of course no one is happy about our defeat. Perhaps it was the wrong idea from the start to side with Austria. But you really don't want to side with the Prussians either. 
We should have just stayed out of it altogether. But at latest, when the damn Russians won at König Gates, it was clear to everyone that we were not on the winning side. Well, I wouldn't give a damn if it wasn't for the little men who had to fetch the music just because they want to play war up there. Since then, the mood hit rock bottom, and instead of calming down, they now seem to have to pick a fight with us. And they can have their fight. We certainly won't back down. Understandable. <laughs> Dear Leo, working Aspenet. Aspen <laughs> um, who do you think the murderer is? I think maybe that's the last question we ask. Um, I am very drunk right now. What can you tell me about the murder victim, Lenz? Poor Lenz. Lenz Glass of the Schwemeyer farm. His father owns it. Really not a particularly sympathetic fella, that is. The father. One wonders how it came about that Lenz was so open-minded. With a father like this. In the past, we didn't have much to do with each other, Lenz and I. But since I came back from Munich, things have changed. We often talked about the world and politics. He was always in favor of a pan-German solution. I never understood that. But still, he was a good friend. And then he lies there, beaten to death in the street. And now laid out on the farm by his insufferable father. Those bloody reactionaries! Please tell me a few more details about the evening of the murder. Who was present? Who was present? I was sitting with Schweighöfer, the doctor, Lenz and Hans Kirgel. One or two tables away was our pastor Bayerle with Schwarz and Alois. We were chatting away and drinking a beer when the priest started his litany. First the war and now us. We disturb the peace of the village, he said. We are causing trouble and putting nonsense into people's heads. That sort of thing. Schweighöfe simply remarked that the priest had no idea about real life and even less about the war. With the church's money, you could really help people, but it looks like nobody wants that. No, he prefers to sit comfortably in his parish and doesn't give a damn about the rest. Bayerle didn't even react to that. He's too good for that. But Schwarz got really, really angry. He stood up in front of us and shouted about us being sent off. Sent off? How ridiculous. Schweighöfer could only laugh, but Schwarz didn't like that at all. He grabbed him by this graf on the neck and dragged him out. Lenz went right in between. He and Schwarz even had a bit of a scuffle. Lenz scored quite well a few times. Very well, in fact. Schwarz quickly let go and the whole route left. Serves them right. To be honest, we really got shit-faced afterwards. We wanted to celebrate this small victory. Around half past ten, we said goodbye in front of the pub. I walked straight home. Thank you for your information. And you also know where Lenz was found? Poor Lenz was found in a paddle on the western edge of the village. Not far from the inn. I'm afraid you can still see all the blood. You know where the body is now yes. laid out? He is laid out at his father's at the Schormeyer farm. They have just picked him up. Head west out of the village along the forest path for a quite a while. That's where the farm is. Who 
Who do you think is the murderer? It's obvious. Definitely one of them. They didn't want to take such a defeat lying down. I don't think it was the priest himself. Maybe Alois. But I think Shosh was lying in the wait for Lent. He wanted his revenge. Then he just knocked him out somehow. Shosh could hardly walk anymore. He probably completely underestimated his strength. Something like that can happen. And now he has to be held responsible. But who is going to do it? The policeman is prowling around once again. The mayor is also a crownie of the whole route. So let's put justice in the hand of the people and act ourselves. We are prepared. We will confront George ourselves. And if they try to get in our way, we won't shy away from violence either. I haven't always kept my rifle in good shape for nothing. Okay, that was interesting. Whoa. Life is hard. There are three of them. Okay. I am drunk. And I think it is time for me to go lie down. <laughs> no. Um. <laughs> okay, so with the fact that our main character is now completely wasted, I think this is a good time to end off. But of course, I will be back next week looking for more clues, looking for more suspects, and talking to more of the town folk to find out exactly what is happening here in this Bavarian town in 1866. In the meantime, I hope you all have a fantastic day, and please do try to your best to not end up in a small town looking for uh, murderers all around you. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching, and goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>